Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to add a text watermark to your videos that you upload to YouTube or you upload to other places. And the reason you want to do this is so that if people copy your videos and maybe put their name on them and upload them to other sites, it'll still have a link back to your site. And by text watermark, I mean what you see over here. And I'll pull this up on the screen so you can see what it looks like larger. Right here on the screen, I have a watermark with a link to my site. And that's a transparent watermark, which means uh, you can still see the video and see all the detail of the video. It just has a watermark to my site. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the same thing. First thing you want to do is put your video clip on the timeline like you normally do. Do all the editing like you normally do. And then on the top, above your video, we're going to use Insert Text Media. We're going to do it to this clip here where we don't have a watermark. We're going to add it. So we put our mouse on a video track above the main video track. And you've got to put it up here. We right click and select Insert Text Media. This brings up our text media window. and I'm going to slide it over so I can see down here what it looks like. And right here, I'm going to highlight the text that's there, delete that, and type in a link to my site. You can see over here that that's too large. And what I'll do then is I'll highlight all that text and I'll select the font that I want to use. And I want to use a bold font. And I've got a lot of fonts on my computer. I'm going to select the Ross Bold ITC and I'm going to select the size to be 48. And you can see that that's fairly large right there. While I have it on the screen, I'm going to select Effects and turn on the Draw Shadow effect. And you see that looks nicer. And then I'm going to Placement. I'm going to move that down right to the corner of my screen. And once that's done, I'm going to close my text window. And you want to get in the habit of closing your text window by using this X box. Otherwise, it won't be where you want it the next time you use it. So I'm close that text window. And now I drag the watermark for the full length of the video. And generally what I do in my watermarks is I'll fade them in. And you do that by grabbing the corner and just fading it that way and grabbing the corner and fading it that way. So if it were to play now, the watermark would fade in. But you can see that that watermark is pretty obvious and it actually detracts from the video. And we can fix that. And while we fix it, we're going to add another couple of effects to it. First thing we want to do is go up to our text media here and select the event effects icon right there. And of event effects, we're going to select Sony bump map. Just click on it and then click OK. Move your video effects window over so you can see what's going on, on the screen here. And we're going to select on our bump map omnidirectional light. And then we're going to select 100% shininess. And you see how that changes down there. And we're going to pull the ambience down like this. Once we get that the way we want it, we just close it down. And now what we want to do is we want to make that transparent. And the way we do that is we go up to our text media and right at the top of that video track, if you move our mouse there, you'll see an opacity slider show up and we can drag that down. And as I drag that down, notice over here that my watermark is becoming transparent. And I can pull it down as far as I want and make it go so it's just barely transparent. And if I get the look that I want, I can go with that. Now I want to show you the settings that I have on my bump map over here so you can match it if you like this one better. Let's go over here and click this and you can see how that looks like. And on my bump map, the settings that I have are intensity 150, ambience 0.1, shininess 1, and bump height 5. So if I want to change it over here, I make sure that I put mouse over here so I can see it. Click on the event effects. and We have 150, 115. And once you get it the way you want here on your bump map, you might want to save that as a preset. So we could type in a preset name here in the preset field. We'll just call this watermark and then click the disk icon. And that means that anytime we want to use the same preset in our bump map, we can just use the drop down and we'll have the watermark drop down. And now when we play it, you'll see that we have a nice watermark throughout our video. So it shows up right there. And doing this is real easy. And in this case over here, I did it with lowercase, which gave me a little bit better results. But you can play with it to see what works best for you. And then once you do it, you can add it to your videos and upload them to YouTube. And if, should people copy your videos and put them on their own websites, or should they copy your videos and re-upload them to YouTube and claim that they're theirs, your watermark will still be there. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips. You can find more video tips like this at my website, www.bmyers.com, as well as in the 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Movie Studio CD, which is available at my site as well as Amazon.